Welcome to another episode of Charlie Drives. So today, as you can probably guess from the title, I'm selling the Avora 400. So I'm selling the, the Avora 400, as you can probably tell from the title. Um, it's a difficult, it was a difficult decision, this one. Um, currently on the way up to buy or to pick up the new car that's going to be replacing the Avora 400, um, which I will be showing to you in a separate video. Um, but yeah, I, mean, I think the time has come. I've had it for exactly a year now. Um, and I think there's, a, you know, there's a number of reasons why I've come to this decision now. Um, not so long ago, I had the MOT done on the car and the warranty expired. Um, the door handle, if you check the previous video, link up there for it. Um, the door handle broke and all this other stuff. Um, so basically, you know, the warranty expired. Suddenly, the servicing is no longer free. And also thinking about things like, okay, this thing needed new brake discs. And the cost of those brake discs as well is uh, fairly significant. So little things like that, I'm, I'm kind of thinking, okay, well, you know, the car's going to start to depreciate a little bit more potentially, and the running costs are going to increase. So it kind of made the, it, that, that was part of the reason. And I think, you know, the deal that I got on this new car also helped sway that particular choice. So, yes, the Avora 400 is now being sold. Um, I have done a part exchange with the new car. So watch this space to um, keep an eye out for what that is. But generally, this car has been absolutely fantastic. I've absolutely loved owning it. Um, Ooh, slippery on the roads today. I've loved owning it. The sound is fantastic. It's been a fantastic experience having this car, um, doing some of the Lotus things that we've done, going up to Lotus in the peak, doing things with other Lotus owners, taking this out with the Esprit has just been so much fun. Uh, this works great as a daily driver for some time while I've had it. So yeah, incredibly usable car. Um, but sadly, you know, things have to go. I'm, I'm trying to strategically keep the cars that I've got so I don't lose an awful lot of capital in them. Um, obviously, depreciation is a factor. You should never think of cars as an investment. But at the same time, I, I, I do try to make sure I don't lose a, a shitload of money on the cars as well. So you've got to be quite... Um, strategic about when to sell the cars and how long to hold on to them for and again a lot of you know a lot of them all you've got to do is look at the market and what is the market doing what have lotus got plans bringing out new cars and things like that so you know I'm, again the avora is quite they've had the avora for, for quite some time now um so that's a, that's another factor terms of you know the actual age of the car and everything so but you know I as I say I can't fault this car it has been great I've not had any problems since James sold it to me um, so you know that in itself has been very encouraging um, the build quality on these cars clearly very very good um, so yeah I, I, I've been very very thrilled to have this car it's been a fantastic experience but let's you know but let's see what the future brings in terms of um the, the next car that i'm buying but this car it does get a lot of it gets a lot of attention it really does uh so something that um yeah i'll, I'll miss I'll, I'll miss that i'll miss that aspect but hey you never know what the new car might be so watch this space um Anyway, I hope you're enjoying the videos. If you are, please get subscribed to the channel. It makes a huge difference. Um, and 
don't forget we've got the lotus esprit so there will be more lotus content um, and also i haven't disclosed yet what the new car is going to be so you never know we might we might be continuing with the lotus theme or we might be doing something completely different you never know um, but yeah thanks for watching and see you for the next video it was a short and sweet one but you know i thought it'd be good to kind of keep you guys posted with what's going on and uh, you know giving some good reasons in terms of why it's time to uh, sell the car anyway take care bye